What's going on everybody, it's Jay Coffee Talk back again with another video for you guys. So if you guys uh, didn't see, I did a previous video on this channel, go check it out. It was about the Motley Crue uh, biopic that's on Netflix, The Dirt. Really dope movie, man. I must have watched it like five times. Um, everyone out here is saying great things about it. Just highly entertaining movie, man. You know, hearing about rock stars rise to success and all the partying and chaos that came with it. You know what I mean? Um, but recently, Slash from Guns N' Roses. We all know Slash, man. Even if you don't like rock music, you know who Slash is. He's just iconic. Uh, you know, everyone knows him. You see that hair, that hat. You can't even see his face, the cigarette. He's playing the guitar. It's Slash. That's what it is. Um, he did an interview where he was speaking about the biopic. You know, of course, they had to ask him about it. They come from the same era as Motley Crue. And he said he loved the movie. Thought it was an outstanding movie. Had nothing but great things to say about it. Thought it turned out really good. And um, when he was asked about a possible Guns N' Roses biopic, which, man, I would really, really love to see, you know, as a kid, Guns N' Roses where it was all over the place and everything like that. <clears throat> you know, you guys see I blog a lot of hip-hop. I, I love all kinds of music. Hip-hop is my favorite, though. But getting back to the lecture at hand, man, uh, Guns N' Roses was all over the place. And, you know, we know they ended up splitting back, although, you know, recently... They've reconciled and for the most part put their differences aside. But, you know, it was fucked up to see all the mirrors. Axl Rose calling it Guns N' Roses with some other band. You know, the, the chicken KFC bucket on the head, dude. And I don't know, I wasn't with all that. And then you had Velvet Revolver with the other band members with Scott Weiland. Rest in peace, Scott Weiland. But, you know, it would. I think it would only be right that Guns N' Roses got a biopic. Since 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 these biopics became a thing and have become a trend and become popular, you know, people always, <clears throat> after they see one, can't wait to see, you know, the bands that, bands or rappers or whoever it is, you know, in the music industry to see their favorite, you know. And Guns N' Roses, I'm sure a lot of people like me would really want to see, but Slash says, you know, he doesn't have any plans on trying to make one. And just the idea of figuring out who to try to cast as, as the band members is like, it's just not something he could, he feels like, you know, he could do. It feels like too tough a task. But what he did say, he didn't exactly say it's in the works, but from what he said, I kind of almost drew that, you know, caught that vibe, was that you'll probably see from footage that they have you know, a film put together showing their rise to success and stuff like that, like footage that, that's in the vault recorded but never put out, that, you know, they'll piece that together to show their story. So that'd be dope, too. So I don't know, guys. Get in the comments and tell me what you guys think about all that, the dirt, um, you know, Guns and Roses, the biopics, all that stuff. But I wanted to share this with you guys. Um, I guess we could call it an Easter egg, maybe. I don't know. Let me, does this qualify as an Easter egg, you guys? I think Easter eggs are cool, though. Little hidden cool things in, in the movies, in different movies and things like that. Now, <clears throat> in the dirt, as you guys who have seen it, I'm sure saw where Nikki Six overdosed on heroin, was pronounced dead, was clinically dead for like two minutes. But, um, you know, the EMT uh, guys were able to bring her back. You know, thank God for them. Nikki Six has spoke about, you know, they did a lot of fact checking on this biopic because that's, you know, always the thing. And for the most part, it's very, very accurate from what they said. A few small differences, but they more or less let you know of them in the movie with the narration. But um, he goes on to talk about the day that the heroin overdose happened and how he had been sick withdrawal and didn't have nothing you know was over at a, uh, a spot where he would cop drugs and get high and everything like that and um in earlier in the movie you see the dude from uh van halen in there well 
in the heroin overdose part, if you look really closely, you will see Slash there. Because when Nikki Six recently spoke about that heroin overdose, and uh, he's got a podcast, I believe, called The Sixth Sense. He spoke about it on there, too. It's a good thing he's doing now, trying to, you know, help people get clean during this opiate epidemic. Trying to, you know, give people inspiration through his experiences. But he said that Slash was present when that happened. Which, you know, it's great that they got him help because so often you hear stories about people overdosing and people just saying, you know, being afraid that they're going to get arrested or whatever. So they don't do anything, but they got him help and he did get saved, as we know. But he said Slash happened to be there. Well, if you look really, really closely in the scene where he's in there, you will see Slash on the couch. You know, he has no dialogue. He has no lines. And it's actually in the early part, like, you have to pay attention before the actual overdose takes place, before any drugs are pulled out, before they're talking about getting high, anything like that. As soon as they, you know, go to that scene, like, right away, take a look at the couch, and you'll see Slash there, laid up on the couch. But, um, I don't know, let me know if you guys caught that Easter egg, and if you guys believe it is indeed Slash. Uh, ah, that's Slash to me. Slash was there. That looks like Slash on the couch. That's motherfucking Slash, if you ask me. But let me know what y'all think. Get in the comments, guys. Uh, touch on everything. You know, or uh, comment on anything I touched on in this video. As always, you know that's what this channel is all about. Talking with you guys in the comments. Because I'm Jay Coffee Talk. And I'm a talking motherfucker. <laughs> but nah, man. Uh, help this channel grow, guys. Help this channel grow. Hit the like. Hit the subscribe. Hit the bell. I'm trying to get to that thousand, guys. It's Shay Coffee Talk, blogging sports, music, news, life, and more. I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm out of here, you guys. Peace.